The question about authority, how did Muslims deal with this? Because again, one of the things that we can learn from the ancients is that they went through the same things that we're going through. They had authority problems in the early part of Islam. They went through their own types of disintegration. They went through their sectarianism, their schisms. Right? The Sunnah Shia split is a schismatic split. And the Prophet said that you will split. He told us that. It's, 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 it's human nature. But then he said, but one group is guided. So everybody, if they're all claiming that, how is that claim substantiated? It's appropriate for everyone who's longing for the hereafter that they learn the, that they know these hadith based on what they contain from very serious or weighty matters in the religion and what they also include from uh, alerting a person to the various types of obedience that are owed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as we said, in these various areas of the religion, these are fundamental or foundational ahadith. And so by learning them, we learn the importance of these particular areas of our religion, the areas where we should make sure that we're striving to obey Allah in these particular endeavors. In Surah Al-Alaq, Kalla inna al-insana layatgha ar-ra'ahu staghna. Verily, the human being commits a crime by, th by deeming himself without need. Right? Verily, the human being, kalla, this is very emphatic. Kalla inna al-insana layatgha. The kalla is very emphatic. The inna is very emphatic. The lam before yatgha is lam at tawkid Kalla inna al-insana layatgha ar-ra'ahu staghna. That he thinks himself stana, I don't have need. So for a moment, if we think that we're independent and without need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then according to the Quran, it's a crime. It's a type of tughiyan, which is very scary. This, this program really combines, I think, the, the three biggest things, which is the community, um, God, and the Prophet I think everyone here outside, online, and in person are benefiting a lot. We're not just Zaytuna here in Berkeley, California, but everyone is a part of Zaytuna, and that this is a school that is not just for the students, but for everyone. I think it's a good program. I think if possible, everybody should be trying to come here and learn some of this. I would not know what I don't know if it wasn't for Zaytuna.